Welcome back to Plain Stop Plastic. I'm Nikita, and today we're making a simple but flavor-packed entree. White bean and spinach stuffed portobello mushrooms. They're gluten-free, though you can make them with flour or breadcrumbs instead, are easy to put together, and work great as a main course. So here's everything you'll need to make this recipe. I'll also leave everything in the description box below, along with a link to the blog post with some nice looking photos and a printable recipe card. We'll start by preheating the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and prepping our mushrooms. Grab a casserole dish, wash your mushrooms well, and remove the stems by simply putting pressure against the side of the stem. They'll pop out in one whole piece. Place your mushrooms top down in the casserole dish and mix together a quick marinade of balsamic vinegar and a quarter teaspoon each of pepper and salt and mix well. Drizzle this sauce equally over your four mushroom heads and bake them for 10 to 15 minutes until tender. My oven is slow to heat up, but in the meantime, we'll move on to the filling. Finely dice your shallots and mince your garlic. In go my mushrooms before sauteing them in a large pan over medium heat until they've begun to brown, about five to seven minutes. While these are cooking down, prep your spinach by giving it a rough chop. Once the shallots and garlic are starting to brown, add your rosemary and then vegetable broth to deglaze the pan before putting in your spinach and letting it wilt for a minute or two. Then turn off the heat and add the remaining filling ingredients. Cooked white beans, parsley, oat flour, nutritional yeast, and the remaining quarter teaspoon each of salt and pepper. Mix everything together and we're ready to fill our mushrooms. If you haven't already, remove the mushrooms from the oven and fill each one equally with your stuffing. Sprinkle some extra oat flour and nutritional yeast over the top and bake for an additional 10 to 15 minutes until they are heated through and just beginning to brown. Then remove them from the oven and they're ready to serve up for a taste test. These stuffed mushrooms have a delicious acidity from the balsamic vinegar, which can spill everywhere if you tip your plate toward the camera, are hearty from the mushrooms and filling but fresh from the bean and spinach stuffing. While I typically stick to large pot batch recipes outside of special occasions, these are a great option for mixing things up and adding some unique flavor into your weekly meal planning. You also don't have to eat them with a knife, but since most plant-based recipes don't require one to eat with, it is a little easier to cut them with one rather than a fork, and it's kind of nice to get the two utensil experience with these. For how they stack up against an alternative, I'm not going to do a breakdown for the sake of time, but you can check out the full nutrition label on the blog that links out to Chronometer. This recipe, though, is just like my others. When comparing it to a vegan or non-vegan option, it will very likely cost you less to make, have more fiber, and you'll get to eat more of it for the same number of calories. So that's it for today's recipe. If you try it out, let me know in the comments. You can also subscribe to my blog for recipes right to your inbox and connect with me on social media for day-to-day -day content. Also, if there is a recipe that you would like for me to make, let me know that as well. And don't forget to subscribe, click the bell, give this video a thumbs up, and come back next time. Bye.